Hello? Okay, I'm on my way. Calvin gets word that Tyna's autopsy is complete. He hopes to learn something that can help solve the case. We meet with Calvin to go over the findings. They say there was blunt force trauma to the face, to the head area, um, and strangulation. The ligature that was around her neck was white. It's white wire. Uh, matter of fact, I have a couple photos of it that I can show you guys. It was fairly loose around her neck, so it was kind of hard to determine whether or not this was used uh, to strangle her. I uh, sent it down to the GBI for touch DNA. Um, I mean, the yellow wire here is you can, I mean, it's tied like a like a Boy Scout tied it. So hmm. I, I'm thinking, you know, hands, sweat, anything of that nature could be on it. Because I felt like this was probably going to be a DNA type of a case. We're looking at DNA, also fingernails. Um, one of the things you did was cleverly you preserve those nails. Just from talking to some of her sister, actually, she said she was a fighter, so I'm a, almost certain that she fought for her life. Yeah. So at that point, we knew, you know, let's go ahead and, and clip these fingernails and uh, preserve those and send those down to GBI for testing. I believed at that time it could be the killer's DNA underneath. Nice. So now you, you send this off to the GBI, and it's waiting game. You're waiting for this DNA to come back. What do you do next? We went back out to the neighborhood, man. I, you know, I wanted to let the neighbors know that, that hey, I'm here, and we're going to try to figure out what happened to your friend, Tina. This is not a homicide that you're going to sit at your desk and work. This is boots on the ground. This is grinding up shoe leather. I love it. Calvin heads out to Old Fourth Ward on a mission. Boots on the ground is a term that we use up in homicide. You can't solve a homicide by sitting at your desk all day. So you definitely want to get out there and knock on doors, let the community know that we're trying to solve this crime. The community kept pointing towards a guy by the name of Jeff. And not that he was a suspect in the case, but that he possibly would have information on the case. 